Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Keep on watching as I show you how I achieve these bow purple bantu knots. But before I do, I want you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you go follow me on all of my social media platforms so we can keep the party going. Okay, let's get into it. Okay guys, I am starting out and I'm using the Get Hued Gemini Naturals Purple Rain along with a Curl Awaken Primer to achieve this look. These are the two products that I'm going to be using and I'm going to be just starting out on stretched hair. My hair has been stretched for the last few days and I wanted to try something really bold and different. So I'm just starting out sectioning my hair to create the Bantu Knots. Okay, so I'm using my hands to basically section my hair. I didn't want to have any hard parts because come time when it's time to pluck out my hair, I didn't want to have those lines of demarcation. So I'm just sectioning my hair using my hands and I'm using about medium to large sections and I'm going to be applying the Curl Awaken Primer. This primer it helps to soften, detangle, and moisturize the hair and I'm just applying a generous amount of it not too much for my hair to revert but just enough and i'm going to be using my brush to make sure that the product is evenly distributed down my strands now it's time for the fun part i am now applying the vegan temporary color gel in the color purple rain this gel moisturizes the hair and it defines your curls so basically i'm taking a generous amount and i'm raking that down the ends of my hair i didn't want it up at the roots because i wanted the color to kind of be bold at the ends so what i'm doing is i'm just creating a regular bantu knot as you can see here but on this particular bantu knot i wanted to achieve more of a ringlet bantu so i'm holding kind of the tip of the bantu and i'm wrapping the ends of my hair all the way up to the root and i'm just securing it with a bobby pin next i'll just be repeating those same steps on all the sections of my hair As I mentioned earlier in the video, I really wanted to achieve more of a Bantu spiral look. So this is the technique that I use to achieve that. When twisting your Bantu, you basically want to hold the tip and twist the hair all the way around until you reach to the basically the top of your scalp, I suppose. <laughs> and then you secure it with a bobby pin. I actually learned this technique from the YouTuber Hazel Goddess. I I saw her do this on one of her videos and I really loved the results so I wanted to try it out myself. I also loved it because your hair isn't wrapped on top of each other and it really assists with the drying process. Okay guys, this is the next morning. Um, I did sit under a hooded dryer for about an hour to set the color that was recommended to set the color so you can get that bold color like that. And um, I just let it dry overnight. So I'm just letting uh, the Bantu knots out, removing the bobby pins and just unraveling them, trying to reduce some of the frizz as you can see here. Look at that color amazing um so yeah i'm just gonna unravel each of those bantus and
Now on to plucking out my curls. I am using the Seal It Up Color Sealing Oil Serum. This oil, it will seal in the moisture, enhance the shine, as well as increasing the color and the longevity of the color, as well as reducing the flaking. So basically, I put a generous amount on my hands and I'm just raking that oil down the strands. Um, of my hair and just gently separating my hair where they naturally separate and just plucking those curls um, in the desired pluck that I like. So I just continue plucking my hair and look at that color pay off. The purple was so vibrant and I was so happy with the results as well as my curl pattern and giving me that ringlet bantu uh, knot that I was definitely trying to achieve. For a little bit more volume, I'm just gonna go in with my pluck and plucking that hair out and plucking down the bottom to give me a little bit of hang time. But yeah, uh, yeah, this is beautiful. Okay guys, these are the results and I am in love. The color is vibrant, my hair is soft, bouncy, it smells really, really nice. The creams and the gels has a nice light scent and it's not overwhelming. So yeah, I'm happy with the curls, so yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, good people, ciao.